Well, so the primary sources that of ammonia that agriculture has to worry about is, is uh, manure, uh, material coming out of the uh, livestock industry, or uh, results of uh, fertilizer applications, losses from fertilizer applications. Well, ammonia is probably the most important um, emitter from agriculture that uh, produces uh, pollutants into the atmosphere because ammonia is actually a very costly thing to produce. Um, um, nitrogen for agriculture is fixed nitrogen. They're putting energy into it, they're paying for it because the nitrogen used to grow the plants or grow the animals. So you lose ammonia to the atmosphere or ammonium to the and nitrate to the soot to the water, uh, you're essentially throwing money out the window. So from agriculture's point of view, we need to save all our ammonia, regardless of, uh, of an environmental impact, it's got an impact to the pocketbook for the farmer. Well, so uh, the flip side, of course, from the farmer, it's, it's an issue of the financial gain or loss. Uh, from the point of view of NADP, where we're trying to preserve the, the, uh, the quality of our atmosphere, uh, the loss of ammonia from the crop or the uh, manure into the atmosphere promotes the formation of particulates, which also has impacts on health, but it also has impacts on uh, visibility, and so pristine areas uh, have impacts as a result of the ammonia emissions that are coming out of the agricultural systems. Well, from, from a livestock side, uh, that ammonia, the, the best ways to limit that emission is to control the feedstock. So the amount of nitrogen going into the animal is going to be controlling the amount going out. From crop side, uh, the best way is to do precision agriculture so that you're not applying more manure than you actually need to apply or applying more inorganic fertilizer than you need to apply so that you're minimizing both losses into the, into the atmosphere as well as into the soil.